people are understanding and organizations are understanding that people matter. And it was so interesting to hear that discussion playing out with a number of very high level leaders last week. I was leading a conversation and I said, you know, here's the interesting thing. We've always known that. It's always been true. It's just really paying off for those of us who've always believed in it. There are opportunities for our work and careers everywhere, if you know where to look. That's easier said than done, especially in our fast-paced and constantly changing world. Marianne Fairmouth is talking to experts, employers, and job seekers to bring you insight and understanding about what's possible. This is Career Can Do, where we're navigating the new work world. Welcome to the Career Can Do podcast, a show dedicated to helping you navigate the new work world. My name is Marianne Fairmouth. I'm an award-winning author of two books, Revolutionary Recruiting and Revolutionary Reinvention. I'm also a career coach and a recruiter. And today, I am so excited because I have with me a person that I, I just think so highly of. I've worked with her. I've gotten to know her. She's what I call an expert and a professional that really just goes the extra mile. She's with a wonderful organization called C-Suite that is very much dedicated to helping people personally and professionally expand who they are and what they want to do. So without further ado, let me introduce Trisha Bean. Trisha, say hi and introduce yourself. Great to be here with you, Marianne, and to be here with all who are listening. I'm just so honored and thrilled to be here with you. You know I read your content, I listen, and it's always delightful, insightful, and I get to have fun at the same time. So I'm ecstatic to be here with you. Well, thrilled to have you. And I I so appreciate you taking time out to do this because I I know how incredibly busy you are. But but Tricia, tell us, I know you're a major player in C-Suite, but explain to the listeners a little bit about what C-Suite is and what function you serve in it. So C-Suite Network is a platform for executives, business owners, investors, and influencers. Our commitment is really about how we create access across all of our networking, our professional services, our media, TV, radio, digital content, and also our marketplace to really accelerate the success of those audiences that we serve. And my role in all of that is in leading its success. So I am 100%, and if it's possible to be more, more dedicated to delivering on that vision that was set out by our founder, Jeffrey Hazlett, and also my business partner. So just every day is an inspiration for great leaders that we serve to see that success and the concentric circles that give to one is a gift back to the other, and it just keeps going around. And we offer more and more through the platform every single day. So it's never a dull moment. I can say that for sure, Marianne. I know. And it's wonderful to see your growth and to see how you're expanding. And Tricia, as a veteran recruiter, what I'm noticing my clients are telling me is that they really like to hire candidates that are involved in personal growth, professional growth. And the really cool thing about C-Suite, I think, what y'all do is you have all these different programs, all these different platforms for all kinds of people where they can learn and grow. And and I think hiring now is different than it was pre-COVID. I mean, people are looking for people that really want to make a contribution, people that really want to grow and develop personally, people that can add to the bottom line. And I think the more we can grow as human beings and professionals, the more we can contribute to the job market. So I wanted to have you on today because what I'm hearing so much from my clients, and I'm a national recruiter, I'm hearing that people like people that are involved in doing networking. Um, I know a little bit about C-Suite, but tell us the typical member. I mean, I don't know if there is such a word as typical, though, but what kind of members do you like to bring into the organization? We're focused on anybody that's a VP or above or the equivalent title through to the CEO and then influencers who are out there and really supporting executives in their success. And of course, investors that are making it possible for businesses to succeed quickly. 
we are very much a values-based organization. And, you know, the people side of things matter. And I, I want to come back to that because it's such an important point. But we have four principles that we use in the operation of the community of C-Suite Network, and that is relevancy. So we're creating relevancy together. We're not just throwing up what we want. Reach, great people come from great people. Reciprocity, if there's an ask, which you're not in business if you don't have an ask. <laughs> you, know? you cannot be. If there's an ask, there's always a give. And so with the ask comes a give, and that's got to be meaningful. And the fourth one we assumed and didn't say out loud until COVID happened and all the things through COVID, and that is respect. So the fourth R is respect. And the reason I know we give that is as a community, that's reflective of who we are. Trust is earned, but respect is given because of who we are. And so those four principles are really about a networking community that is giving and contributing in various ways. And so what we're looking for is how we accelerate the success of each leader in whatever capacity it is that their expertise is in and use the platform to support them with other components that would make their business model inefficient or would cost them a great deal more to get out in front of, whether that's an audience or services or a particular connection or distribution of their content. Those are all you know, different components of what we deliver on through the, the platform. Well, that's exciting. And the thing to me that, that strikes me right now during these times is that with your platforms and with them being online, a person can really have exposure in ways they couldn't before. So that's one of the benefits of COVID. You know, Tricia, I'm always like you. I'm always trying to see the silver lining. I'm always trying to, you know, how can we see this negative situation and bring something good to it? or look at the benefits of it. And I think, sincerely, one of the benefits of COVID has been that we have to do more things online. And in some ways, you know, we don't have the interaction close, you know, face-to-face in the same room. But how cool that, you know, we can get online and one of your VPs or one of your presidents from maybe New York or Pittsburgh or somewhere can can talk to a a person down here like me in in Houston and and share those kinds of things. And, And community, you know, I think the other thing is too, you know, we're all really needing that sense of community more than ever. And I think that you and for sure Jeff is so big about that. And I remember, you know, I met Jeff, oh, about four years ago at an NSA conference and he was giving a presentation and, and I was so impressed with him. He was so bright, but he was, he had such a human touch to him and he was so down to earth. A lot of us haven't been able to go to those in-person conferences like we used to, but how great that C-Suite has this platform online And I know you have all kinds of also like subgroups, you know, you have a women's group, you have a Houston or Texas group and, you know, all these different platforms. So if somebody comes into C-suite, but they want to kind of get a little bit more, you know, specialized, they can do that. Isn't that right? Tell us about that. Absolutely. And I think, Marianne, if you think about it, you and I know each other online. And I know we're not in the same room and I'm a big hugger. So I, if I was in the same room with you right now, I would hug you. <laughs> I have to admit, there's that pheromone, you know, like, like whatever that is that we give off, endorphins, whatever it is. <laughs> Clearly, chemistry was not my major. But whatever it is that we give off, you feel that online when you really, truly are connecting. So I feel incredibly honored that we've been able to do that in C-suite. You know, you go into a meeting and people's videos are on. It's not off. You know? It's on. And some days are a great day. And some days are a rough day. We've had people joining this week that have COVID and they've got breakthrough cases, but here they are with their community. And that's what they need. They want to be surrounded. And thank God, you know, with the technology we have, we could be there for them and give them an opportunity to be kind of supported and share where they are with things and how they're moving through it and know that they've got a community that's supporting them. And here's another thing, you get into very real conversations. So one that we had last week was people are understanding and organizations are understanding that people matter. And it was so interesting to hear that discussion playing out with a number of very high level leaders last week. I was leading a conversation. And I said, you know, here's the interesting thing. We've always known that. It's always been true. 
it's just really paying off for those of us who've always believed in it. (laughs) And so when you think about that relationship and that connection, it doesn't matter so much how, it just matters that you are able to do it in an authentic space with people who are your peers and have the same kind of values alignment in terms of what really matters and how we build successful businesses and reward those who are delivering on their promises and creating success for themselves, their organizations, and their communities. I agree. I think, I think maybe even that the people matter part is really front and center now. And I hear that from my clients and who they hire is a totally different, a totally different animal than it was, I think, before pre-COVID. And that is that they want to know, you know, what can you bring to me? Who are you? What have you done? What are you involved with? And I think that the more candidates can express being involved with organizations like this, and the more they can, you know, grow themselves as human beings. I think it all starts with, who am I? Let me be the best person I can be, because then I can make a better contribution. And, you know, I think it's so cool, too, that, you know, I noticed the other day that you interviewed the big time successful author, Dennis Watley. I mean, how cool for our members to hear from an author like that. I mean, how do you guys get people like that on your show? Dennis Waitley, Tom Ziegler yesterday, Ray Wong, if you haven't read his book, Everyone Wants to Rule the World, absolutely incredible in the digital era. And I could go on for sure, Marianne, but I think it comes back to exactly what you were saying is those that are most hireable, those that that organizations really want, are making true connections. So how are you, and all of us can reflect on this, how are you contributing meaningfully to communities? And, And that whole notion of just taking to somehow succeed is not one that wins. And it's evidenced much faster now. In the digital era, those kinds of things are transparent. You can't hide that you're somehow getting something out of it and taking from others. So I think, you know, for us, it's about that extension. Great people come from great people. You build those meaningful connections. With Dennis Waitley, it was such an honor. And of course, we did it right. We brought in people that really were just incredibly connected in terms of their wanting to give to Dennis and honor his legacy and what he's accomplished with his career, with all of his writings. And of course, then they want to give back. And so it's just that really, truly those concentric circles of being engaged, supporting and giving. Another book, Marianne, that I've really enjoyed is Give and Take, Adam Grant. Absolutely fantastic. As you think to, you know, what giving really means. And it's not an endless martyrdom. (laughs) My hand is to my forehead. It's literally how do you contribute to success and create winning opportunities and people who can create winning opportunities, especially through challenging times, which is disruption, which means opportunity. That's who you want on your team, not the Eeyore or the the negative of everything that's gone wrong. Those things are obvious. We don't need much contribution from that perspective as leaders moving towards success through challenge. We need those solutions, those ways of looking at things differently to see where the new opportunities are created and whatever challenges in front of us. I think so. One of the things I thought was really neat too is the the possible interaction between the members. For example, I remember at one point I was in one of the seminars for C-suite and there was a woman that was a high level college. I think she was a professor, but she worked at a college. She was talking about some different things. I think she also had a business, but I had a particular candidate that needed an internship. So one thing I noticed was that, you know, I I sent her an email and then she got with the student. And so the other thing is, is that through C-suite, if a business owner or a person has a function or somebody might be able to grow their concern or their business by association, then C-suite allows those relationships to take place. Isn't that right? So in these tough times, so many times, Tricia, you can call a company now and you want to make a cold call or you want to make a connection or you want to make a sales call and you pick up the phone and nobody's there. So how cool to have an organization like C-Suite where through this organization, there might be somebody that I meet or someone meets that is in the same business or has something to do with my business that can make it grow and we can, you can put those connections together. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Absolutely. Every single day. 
I just found out last night, Orianne Collins is one of our leaders. She's now working with another one of our Thought Council leaders, Arjun Sen. And that was an introduction that I made a few weeks back. It literally happens every single day in the C-suite. And that contribution, that engagement, Arjun gave of his time. And then that created the opportunity for that introduction and conversation. And, And so it is about how we connect with others and certainly looking at different opportunities. You know, if you if you have IP and you want to be able to get it out there, you want to have that give like you do, Marianne, with your written content, which is incredible, and obviously your podcast, well, then we would love to be distributing that podcast material. And then our give back is that we share 50-50 in the revenue that comes in for that podcast through the advertising that we sell. So there's so many different ways to engage. And of course, as you mentioned, we have different communities within the C-suite network. So if you want to be able to lead in making change in the community that you own, whether it's demographic or an industry or sector or a specific problem or challenge, then that's something we can do through the C-suite platform. It's really about how uh, great leaders are identifying what's that challenge they're trying to break through and then sharing that so that all of us can be kind of wrapping around where it makes sense, of course, to be able to jump in with, ah, I know this person or I have this solution or I've done this before. These are some learnings I have to be able to share. And we do that through all different ways, whether that's online connection or, you know, we're in events and meetings. I'm coming to Dallas soon, by the way, Marianne. Good. I'm excited. Yes. Well, you know, I heard something the other day and it reminds me so much of C-Suite Interview. And that was somebody said, you know, what's more important in your life? Is it the journey or the destination? And the person said, it's the people you meet along the way. And I think, you know, life's about relationships and life's about people. And the one thing that I've always been so impressed with you, Tricia, is that you really take the time to celebrate a person. Like when I wrote my second book, we're so excited about Friday night putting me on there and talking about that second book. I mean, you had all these people on that Friday night, but you know, here I have a little book that came out and you wanted to acknowledge that. So I think, you know, that's always stuck with me that, you know, as busy as you are, as professional as you are, you know, being the hero group, which is, you know, your higher end, you still, no matter what that member should accomplish, you want to celebrate that and recognize that. And how yeah. are you in these times to feel that. And I I thank you for that because, you know, a lot of organizations don't do that. And I think you and Jeff are those kinds of people. And I think for our listeners out there, this is not just a networking group. This is a very special networking group. And for the vice presidents, the presidents, the leaders all over the world, you know, I also am am a host for a international marketing group. You know, we connect with people all over and, you know, you meet people sometimes and in, in all due respect, Sometimes they're so taken with their own accomplishments that they don't have the time or they don't maybe stop and think about what somebody else did. And that's always struck me, especially with you and Jeff, that you really want to help that person. You want to celebrate them, but you want to help them grow and and expand. So is that just a philosophy? Is that just who you are? Where does that come from? At the end of the day, there are two things in there. There's the humility of understanding. We're all people striving to do something great, ultimately. And so you know, that belief that all of us has a great leader in there and we are marking in terms of what success we want to be able to see. So that's something that it just is a fundamental belief, along with the fact that a networking group or a a platform that you would connect into shouldn't be telling you what success is. You need to say what success is for you and then that the support should come around that. I think also the philosophy of what we celebrate. I recently had someone take me to task to say, well, you said that was awesome and it was little and you said that was awesome and it was big. And I said, yes. (laughs) And he was calling me to task on, but if one is small and one is big, why are you saying both are awesome? And I said, because it's all relative. That little win, and we can all think in our own minds of those little wins that were so big for us. They either made the difference that galvanized us to really break through to the next level in our own development or in leading our organizations or whatever it was, or it broke, you know, a bad spell or, you know, whatever it was, it got you that one little step that got you to the biggest step, you know, whatever it was, that small win actually meant more than the big win. 
And sometimes, I mean, you, you don't want to miss the big wins ever. But I, I do think sometimes we, we do miss those little wins that are so critical. So on Friday evenings, you mentioned the celebrates. I want to celebrate everything. And we launched that as a virtual event right after COVID happened last April. And it's been going strong every Friday ever since. I think we had one fall on exactly on a holiday. And that's the only Friday we haven't been on together. But we've had such a wonderful time celebrating. And I always say, little or big, what are you celebrating? And let's make sure we raise our hands, give the high five, and then also make sure that we're there with the shoulder because some weeks are a little rougher than others. So let's be there together. And and Friday night, I also promise to stay on until the last person is heard, you know, so if there's something you need to share or some, you know, something you want to be able to talk about, by all means, I will stay on until the last person is heard because we all need to be heard and uh, creating that space. I really truly consider an incredible honor because as executives, as influencers, owners, investors, everybody's looking to us as the leaders. There are very few safe spaces to just be able to be and maybe let our guard down. And I think that's another part of being a great community is being able to show up and also be able to be vulnerable to share things that you're challenged with or things you just need to work work through or get off your chest. And so um, it's definitely very much our entire community DNA now, Marian. I agree. And I think, you know, I talked to so many owners of companies or or senior level executives of companies and Tricia, they're all in a rebuild mode. They all want to expand or they want to become better or they want to grow or they want to, you know, maybe have new strategies or new technology influences in their company. And I think that since we're all kind of, you know, navigating this new work world together, if you are a leader of a company, an influencer, a possible investor, if you need a group, a networking group that has like-minded people that wants to see you succeed and help you get there, you need to for sure check into C-Suite. I have high respect for the people at C-Suite. I think the world of Trisha Bean, I just, I love her to death. If we were close, we would probably be inseparable. If we live in the same place, I would do anything for this woman because I think she's just wonderful. She's so bright and she's so pretty, but she's so smart, but she has such a heart and she cares about people. And, uh, you know, in these days, how great is that to find a a high-end company or organization that has quality people? So in closing, we're running out of time a little bit. If you had to give people three In summary, three of the major points of C-suite, what would they be? I'd say the three major points are, as you look to your scaling, your growth, your opportunities, and how you invest your time, resources, assets, et cetera, if you want to be able to create thought leadership, if you want to be able to connect and educate and really position yourself in terms of your different products and services, if you want to be part of a community that's definitely there to support and also share our wisdom. We've done a great deal over the last several years in building businesses, in building personal platforms, et cetera, then please, please, please reach out to us. And Marianne, I cannot tell you how grateful I am to you. You know, Building great businesses isn't just about the numbers. Now, the numbers are critically important and you need to stay very close to them. But when you can add the heart that you do, into what you're doing and that give that you give every day with all that you're doing and all that you put out for everybody that you serve, that's how you see that exponential success and the grace that comes with, I know this is going to work somehow or another. And you know that when you said we'd be inseparable, well, there's that trust. Yep. That you're going to get somewhere and you may not know what it looks like. And in disruptive times, none of us know what that looks like. So I think that those are the most critical things as we look at how we bring people into C-Suite Network and how we elevate, we co-elevate to see that success. Well, that's wonderful. So if they want to get a hold of you, Trisha, people that are listening want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? It's just Trisha at, so Trisha is T-R-I-C-I-A at C-Suite, S-U-I-T-E, network.com. All right. And if you all forget that and you're in the car right now and you're hearing this podcast, you can always go to my website, fairmouth.com. That's F-A-R-E-M-U-T-H. Drop me a line and I will certainly get you the information on Tricia. So again, we thank you so much, Tricia. It's been my pleasure. It's always so great to see you. We'll keep in touch. And uh, 
This is Career Can Do. My name is Marianne Fairmouth. We're navigating the new work world. All that you hear on this podcast is certainly information that we hope that you will utilize. There are no guarantees, but we certainly hope that it's information that will help you grow and expand. And again, if you have any other questions on this podcast or anything else that we can help you navigating the new work world, contact me at fairmouth.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Trisha. We'll keep in touch. All right. Bye-bye. We thank you for tuning in to our Career Can Do podcast. We make no guarantees on results for your particular quest, but we hope you enjoy the information presented. Thank you.